Hello guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add experience in a LinkedIn profile. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So adding your experience in LinkedIn here is something really important. So if you add experience, it's going to basically bump you up on those competitions that you have online. Because we all know finding a job online or basically building your profile here in LinkedIn is kind of a competition. So you, may, you might get more opportunities depending on how you build your profile here. So we are going to be adding our experience here. So for us to do that, first things first, you need to go to linkedin.com. And from here, we want to go to our profile. So at the top right here, go and click on your profile picture, which is under the me section here. It will just click on the view profile option. Now, once you click on that option, you should be able to see your whole profile. Now, in this case, how do we actually add our experience? So typically, when you scroll down a bit here, you won't be able to see the experience section so you have the interest here activity resources analytics suggested for you and your name here so if your account is fairly new here this is the only things uh, you'll be able to see here but the good thing here on linkedin is you'll be able to customize your profile here depending on what you add so typically here when you click on the add profile section here you should be able to see this pop up here now in this pop up you should be able to basically add different sections like for example add profile photo add about add education add career break and add skills now in the recommended section you have the add featured add license certifications add projects add courses add recommendations now in here additional we have add volunteer experience which in this case if you volunteered for a very specific event or a specific uh environment or a a very specific um company well you could add it in here you also have add, add publications add patents add honors awards, test scores, language, organizations, causes, and contact info. But you want, might be wondering, how do you actually add the experience? So meaning your jobs or your previous experiences from different positions or in different companies. Well, you could see it here in core, and it's not necessarily named as, as experience, but it's actually named as add position. So let's go ahead and click on add position here. Now, in position, you should be able to add the following information. Like, for example, your title here, maybe I want to say I'm in the tech industry and I'm a software engineer. So maybe you want to say it is going to be software. So we want to choose software engineer here. It's going to uh, give us a suggestion here and choose that specific title. Now, employment type here. So if you click on the section here, you have the following. You have full-time, part-time, self-employed, freelance, contact, internship, apprenticeship, and seasonal. Now, but depending on what employment time you have, go ahead and choose that. So maybe I want to choose full time here. But if you want to learn more about the employment types here, just click on this link here and you'll be able to read further into it. Now, here we have the company name. Now, depending on what you actually enter here, you should be able to see different companies here. Like, for example, I have test section here. I'll be able to choose a company that actually starts with test. Now, in this case, you go ahead and choose that. So it's going to also suggest you that did you mean the following here? So no, I want to choose no here. Now, also, if your company here is not included in the section here, it's or you could basically just add a text here. It doesn't matter. So go ahead and just type it in. Now, also at the location here, you can go ahead and just type in your location. So maybe I want to say Manila here and choose this section here. Or you could go, go ahead and type it manual here as well. Now, we have the location type here. So depending on how you actually work for a company, so it may be on-site, hybrid, or remote. So if you want to say it is going to be a hybrid, so sometimes I'm going to be on-site, sometimes I'm re working remotely. Now, we also have the option here to specify if you're still currently employed to that specific company. Now, for example, I'm no longer with this company here. I want to make sure to uncheck the I am working currently on this role. I want to add my start date here. So maybe I want to say January of 2010. I started working for that company. Also have the end date here. So maybe I want to say it's going to be January of 2024. Now, I also have the option here to add descriptions to further describe what you did, what is the company for, and a lot more if you want to add uh, some specific details of that specific experience. Now, also, we have the ad skills here. 
So maybe in this job or in this position or in this specific company, you learn the following uh, skills like for example, software infrastructure, software design. So in this case, if you don't see it here, just click on add skill and you'll be able to type it in here. So maybe I want to say Microsoft here just to give you an uh, example. So I want to add Microsoft Office. Also have media here. So a media section is for adding Im images, documents, sites, or presentations that you created or interrelated or related to this specific interest or experience. Experience. Now, in this case, if you're satisfied with what you entered here, you can go ahead and click on save here. Now, also, if you want to notify your network, so if you have like connections here, you'll be able to notify them. So, updates can take two hours. So, maybe if you don't want to notify them and just want to add this into your profile, you can go ahead and turn this off and just click on save. Now, once you click on save here, it's going to start adding that into your profile. And in this case, it's going to say your position has been saved. So in this case, let's just click on skip here since we don't want to connect with anybody. So here, it's going to say next, ask for a recommendation for boost your credibility. But for now, I'm going to click on skip here. Now, in this case, our profile here should be updated. As you can see, when I scroll down a bit, the experience section should now appear. Now, if you want to edit this, just click on the pencil icon here, and you should be able to edit your experience and click on the section that you want to edit. Now, if you want to add a new one, just click on the plus button, and from here, just click on add position or add career bake. So maybe I want to say I want to add experience again, and same thing, just fill out all the necessary details here, and from then, you should be able to add your other experience and that should be it and that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to yellow app thank you for watching